Hey, everybody. During the first office hours in April 2021, it was suggested that I take my holographic screens and, you know, smudge them up a little bit so that they look more like they're on glass plates. And it happens to be really easy to do in Unreal, so I figured we'd make a tutorial about it. So let's take a look. Step one is to go into the Epic Launcher. And in there, we'll go to the Marketplace tab and we're going to search for glass and we're just going to use some free glass that's available in the marketplace. So after searching for glass, go down here to the parameters and filter by price, filtering by uh, max price free. And sure enough, there is a free advanced glass pack. So we'll go in there and we're going to add that to project. So I'm going to add this to my virtual studio project right here and click add to project. Once that's done, and I go over to my project, it gets added as a new folder and content for advanced glass pack. What we'll do is steal that glass and just add the holograms to it. So let's go to advanced glass pack and we'll go to materials and dirty. Okay, so the dirty glass is gonna give us that opportunity to have both refractions as well as all kinds of smudges and all. So we don't want to mess with the original that came through. We might want to do other things with it later. So I'm just going to right click and choose duplicate so that this material definition is duplicated. And I'll call this hollow glass underscore matte. Okay, so this will be the master material for our holographic glass plates. Double click to go in there. And the main thing that I'm going to edit is I just want to add to the emissive color based on the holograms from our NDI feeds. So there's a lot going on. This is why they call it advanced glass. So there's all sorts of normals and refraction, opacity, dirt layers, etc. We're going to let the glass do its thing with all of that. We just want to add an emissive layer that's kind of our LED display. So to do that, we'll just go over to the content browser here. Let's move this out of the way. Go to content, uh, NDI video IO. And here is my uh, receiver texture for the Macintosh. That's the kind of the backdrop and one of the holograms. And this media texture is the, well, it's the capture of this screen right here on my PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the PC feed in here and I'll right click and convert this to a parameter. So on instances, I'll be able to feed different screens. So I'll just call this hollow texture. So that'll be the actual hollow texture for the hol holographic thing. And finally, uh, we'll take the RGB and take from that pin and connect to the emissive of the material. And now once this refreshes, we should end up being able to see a glass plate in the preview along with this uh, screen texture. It takes a little while to set up the calculations and compile everything, but once that's finished, there we go. Uh, we've got the screen. Now the hologram itself is a little faint, so just to enhance that a little bit, what I'm going to do is a parameter so that I can multiply that up. So I'll right click and do a mult node. There we are, multiply. And we'll connect RGB into A, and we'll take the output and connect that to emissive color. And I'm just going to hold the S key down and tap with my mouse in empty space to create a single scalar parameter. There we are. Held the S key a little too long there. We'll call this hollow, well, let's call it intensity. All right, so hollow intensity. And finally, we'll connect the output of that to our B of the multiply. And we'll give this a default value of 1 and a min of 0 and a max of, let's just say, 5. Hopefully 5 will be plenty. All right, so we'll work with that once we have our instance. We've already seen it showing up there, so in just a second, this should appear. It does take a second or two to recalculate. And there we go. So as a preview here, I could go ahead and change my default value. Let's change it to five and see how bright things get. All right, that 
ought to be bright enough. And we'll play around with it. Oh, you know what? Just let's make this maximum 10 just for fun. OK, so we'll save this material definition, close this. And with that saved, we're going to be able to create instances of this material. And each instance can have a different holographic texture. All right, so with that saved, we'll go ahead back to our content folder and advanced glass pack and materials and dirty. And again, here's our hollow glass material. And I'll just right click and create a material instance. And we'll call this hollow glass 01 underscore mi for material instance. Double click. And here's what it looks like now. It's a little, little excessive. So let's uh, scroll down here. And we'll go ahead and change our dirt mask and dirt intensity and contrast. OK, so there are a few different dirt masks available. And let me just dial back the intensity for a little bit on this one. So there's one, you know, you could see that's kind of scratchy. And let's just see what this is going to look like on our actual holographic screen. So I'm just going to take our holographic glass one material instance, drag that onto here. And this is what it looks like in the scene. So definitely a little too intense. So let's go ahead and adjust this. Let me make this window a little smaller so we'll be able to see everything in the scene. And let's pull back that dirt intensity to 0.1. There we go. And it's still a little too overt. I'm going to choose a different dirt mask. So if I click this drop down arrow, the glass uh, pack contains a few different uh, dirt masks here. There's like a big splatter and some drips. And what I'm going to do is take this number, mm, let's do number three. So it's kind of like almost squeegeed. It's kind of like, you know, Windex was on there and kind of dried. There we go. So we have a little bit of drips. Let's lower our contrast. Take that one. Now we're seeing more of those drips. 0.5 on contrast. Yeah, maybe I'm not happy with that mask. Let's go ahead and try Dirt Mask 4. There we go. All right, so intensity is still too high, 0.1. There we go. All right, and let's take a look at, here's our hollow intensity at 5. Let's ease that off to 2. Hey, now it's looking like something nice. And finally, uh, maybe we want to add a little bit of tint to this. I'm going to scroll up, change the glass color. Let's change that to kind of a, a blue, kind of a glowy. There we go. Nice and saturated. So now the glass itself has a little bit of color. It gives us a little bit of blue tint. And we get some refraction and some warbling, as Ian Hubbard would say. All right, so there we go. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Now we've got kind of like a dirty glass look. So we'll just go with that. I mean, obviously, you could play around with these parameters a bit more and uh, get a look that you like. So with that, I'm just going to go ahead and select this Hollow Glass 01 and duplicate that. So right click and duplicate. There we are. And we'll just call this one, oops, MIO2. Double click this. And we're just going to change the source of our hollow texture. So we'll just click on this. We've got new NDI 2D texture. And we're, let me just type in NDI. That should filter us down. Here's NDI2. That should be my Mac. And we'll save that, close, and we'll drag that onto our other HoloLens. All right, there we go. So we've got two pieces of glass. Final touch is I stole some of the lights out of the uh, Virtual Studio Kit. So I'm just going to select those. I named them Base 1 and Base 2, W. And I'm just going to slide those up to add some lights to the bottom of my holographic screens.
And now we've got glass holographic screens all set. Thanks for the suggestion. Until next time, have fun.